Hello everyone, County Commissioner Jimmy T. Smith. It's March the 29th and this is my weekly wrap up. So this week we had a future of the fire services meeting and that was about what we want to do with the need to expand services, where it should go, what additional services they should provide and different things like that. Some key takeaways from that is, is that we're going to eventually have to build up fire services off of Cardinal because as the growth of the Sun Coast comes in, the demand to respond to things on the Sun Coast will also be there. Not only that, we talked about the future of what's called advanced life savings uh, and allowing fire services to do that. And basically what that is, is paying to have paramedics on the fire trucks. And this means that if the fire truck gets there first, right away they can start providing service to the individuals that's wounded or hurt. So right now, if a fire truck shows up and somebody say having a heart attack or a stroke or something, the fire personnel are not qualified to be able to provide service and subsequently just stand there and can't do anything until Nature Coast EMS shows up. So we had the discussion and a lot of us support ALS. There's some pros or cons, we're gonna look deeper into it, but right now my basic value is whatever we have to do to make sure our uh, employees when they show up on site can actually provide services is the best thing to do. Uh, another portion of the discussion went over to the fact of the oldest fire station we have is a 45 year old fire station on Hernando Lake in Hernando. Now, I personally think that they're gonna spend 500 plus thousand dollars to renovate this fire station. Now, fire station truly um, shouldn't be on the lake in the first place. It should be somewhere that's easily accessible onto Highway 41 or 200. But also, that is prime commercial real estate as well. So why would we take up good real estate to generate revenue by having a fire station there? So potentially, by increasing the revenue for new construction, increasing the money for new construction to about a million, million and a half, we would be able to build an entirely new fire station at a better position. Uh, sadly, my peers didn't, uh, didn't support that effort, but who knows, it's on the list of many of things to do, and I'll keep slugging away at it because I think it's smarter to, instead of renovate a 45-year-old fire department that's in the wrong place, to put one in the right place that is modern and more efficient. So, you know, keep that in the, in the bag of tricks for later on. Uh, maybe we'll bring it up again and hopefully find success in the future. Our regular meeting actually went really quick, really smooth. Very impressed on uh, Commissioner Kennard's ability to run a smooth meeting. Probably the best chair we've had so far. Uh, as part of that, and I had mentioned it last time, was that we voted to demolish two homes. So what happened was, is here's a home that's completely dilapidated within a community can't find any uh, of the family or anything like that, hasn't gotten the probate. It's just sitting there falling down in our communities and we voted to go ahead and move forward with demolition. So here's the thing. We are starting to demolish some of these old abandoned homes in this county that we, we know for a fact we can't find the owners. So you're gonna start seeing that. Uh, we also have now with the civil citation, more and more effort is being put into cleaning up our communities. And I know I talk a lot about Beverly Hills, but also if you look at Citrus Springs, there is some individuals that were uh, recently cited in Citrus Springs with a civil citation. And they were told that if they didn't get it cleaned up, they would have to go in front of a judge. Not just have a code compliance officer, keep sending them emails or notices and then eventually put a lien that does nothing on their home. This civil citation actually puts it in front of a judge and gives the judge the strength of law to actually clean up our communities. So a comment was actually put in the paper about, well, Jimmy's always focused on Beverly Hills. Have no doubt, Citrus Springs is in my focus as well. So uh, that person was automatically, two days later, start taking all that bags and bags of trash that he had piled up on their front yard and they're now getting rid of it. It is working, it takes time, be patient, but we've put in some very good tools uh, in the, over the last two years that are really starting to clean up this community. And uh, that's Beverly Hills, Citrus Springs, and the entire county. 
Now, as you may or may not know, I'm on the Sips County Community Charitable Foundation. Our grant uh, process starts again in April. So if you get a chance, if you're part of a nonprofit organization that provides medical services, or a nonprofit organization that wants to provide medical services and you want to start a program or, or get a grant for a program, go check out cccf.us and check out our grant cycle. We'll be starting again here in April. And go ahead and fill out the paperwork and apply for a grant. Here's the thing. There's money sitting there waiting for the nonprofits to use mental health, dental care, uh, pregnancy um, um, assistance and all kinds of different things that can apply but nobody's applying why because we're not getting the word out good enough so we are working on that but go check that out and of course uh, this next week there's no County Commission meeting I'll be out and about uh, potentially even going to Tallahassee talking to the uh, Department of Veterans Affairs uh, talk to the director up there director Burgess who is a hard-working man and maybe seeing some changes in support for the Citrus County's Veterans Village that's been playing and worked out for many years now. So if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to email me at Jimmy, J-I-M-M-I-E, period, Smith, at citrusbocc.com. And uh, have a great weekend. And oh, don't forget to go to the fair and enjoy all the hard work that the Fair Association has done in bringing this fair in and setting it up. I'll be there tonight. Uh, I've been really busy this week, so I haven't been able to be there. I look forward to leaving, uh, as a matter of fact, very shortly to go to the fair and uh, go check out some of the booths. I especially like to go see the agriculture section, see all the hard work of the 4-H people. So go check out the fair, enjoy the weekend, and we'll catch up with you next week. Thanks. Bye.